There we go. Right. Hey, yeah, hey, we, yeah got we got it. it. We got we got Maggie here from X Keys, Jeffrey Powers from Geek Cuisine, and NAB 2022. 2022, yeah. Yeah, X Keys, and, and you guys got some new stuff going out here. Got uh, some new stuff. Why, yes. why, why don't you take the microphone and tell us what we're uh, what we're expecting for this year? All right. Well, this year we are showing off all of our Pyrex modular systems that you can eventually order and customize all yourself. So this is one of the larger ones. Um, we're actually going to sell this entire kit. So you can go up to five five rack high. Um, you can have a QWERTY in here. You can have a trackball. You can have a jog shuttle. You can put one of our T-bars in here. We have all different stuff going on. Hopefully we'll have some faders maybe by NAB next year. We are working on them. Okay. Um, so yes, yeah, so you'll be able to put our standard XTs up here. If you want to have anything else in your rack, you can put monitors in here. So this is basically going to be an entire production studio basically minus the switcher yep minus the switcher um so yeah this is all this is all new stuff so i'm really excited about it i also love this model over here if you want to zoom over here i like this size so you'll be able to pop in things change things however you need it for a show slide it around you can actually fit a raspberry pi if you want in the back of that you can have okay. a monitor so it's literally your own little portable studio um so yeah we've had a lot of people ask in the past if you could do you know multiple jogs multiple t-bars in a unit so i'm really excited about it why it's would all, they need multiple t-bars why do people need T-bars in general? You can do it with a button. <laughs> no, I love the T-bar because yeah. you can go like this, and then all of a sudden you have you have your cat right here and then you right there in, in the shop. So that's yeah. awesome. Yep, so I mean, if you want two T bars, you can have two T bars. You could have three T bars, and this can be as long as you want. I believe it's going to go up to 28 inches, so you could have as many X keys as you I need in there. This or would I need a new frame? Um, I don't know how that's going to work yet. I believe you're going to need to get a new frame, but okay. honestly, you could probably, it won't look very pretty because we do hack this off. So this is okay. all cast aluminum, it's going to be cut. Got it. Um, we do have a new rack system that'll fit the 24 key in it now, or at least a, a set. 24 keys in it so okay. i like that one um and you so, also have a one u on, yep we do have the one u yep we do um and then the 40 key is out now that's right here this lovely guy um we have a brand new printer in-house too that we actually are going to offer a much more affordable solution if you want these acrylic keys so our normal x keys do come with the real legible keycaps but these ones are actually uv acrylic ink okay. hopefully it never ever comes off and um, yeah, so you can make your own custom layout. So we do sell a lot of these standard. We sell the video switcher set standard, the PTZ kit standard. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So that that's hopefully, like I said, hopefully in about a year, these will be regular off the shelf. Um, for right now, this is very prototype. Okay, but so we don't have NAB a price is. on that yet. We're getting there. I do have a lovely sheet over here. It's basically gonna be a la carte. So okay. it's gonna mix and match. You're just gonna do bits and pieces of it all. So it's really just gonna depend on how much you wanna spend, how big you want it. And a Lego studio. Yes, this crew does work very hard all throughout the show. <laughs> they are running a live studio production with VMix. I feel um, like a drone. <laughs> they actually do have X keys in their production. We printed on Lego, and I love that. So he has an XK24. There's an XK T bar in there. Nice. Yeah, gotta love the Lego. So this is running VMix, of course. This is our biggest one. This is the XKE124 T-Bar. So this does come with all of the regular standard keys and it includes this entire kit. So it doesn't have to look like this, but this is just a layout that we recommend people use in VMix. This is very similar to their software. If you want to see the intro for the oh. news, it's so fun. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun with this one. Awesome. Everybody loves the Lego. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is awesome. All right. All right. Well, obviously, here's our Jog Shuttle 12. So these actually have different keys on it. All of our X keys are basically Lego concepts. So it does come with the singles, but you can always use a key puller, pop them off, put on a blocker, put on a bigger key. We sell two by twos. You can have a big square. You could you could print something up and put it behind. Exactly. It. Yep. We include sample sheets, but there's also blank legend sheets. You can use whatever paper you want, make your own custom labels. There is backlighting, so you could, you could use a transparent paper. Yes, yes. We have cord wraps in our booth. Um, this is another option for the 40 key. It's not rack mount form. We have feet on the back. You can angle it. And if you go over here, there's more X keys everywhere. This is our 80 key. Um, we do have new tilt stands, so you can prop it up if you need to. We have some new switch pedals that actually go right into our switch interface. So if you need something on the ground, we have stomp switches. There's okay. all of them out there. If you want to get real crazy, we do sell the X-Keys brain. <laughs> you can build your own. You can wire up to 128 switches. Really? Yep. Mm. 
Um, this is the black and white XK24. It's showing off the blockers. So like I said, you can change your layout to however you need. I really like these because that way, especially if you're doing live production, you can feel where your hands are. You can designate a different area. You know, obviously if a button's really important, you can separate it. Yeah. Yep. So that's a cool one. This is our XK64 replay unit, fully supported in vMix. This one is the only XKs that comes pre-configured out of the box. So we do include a kit. You can always pop these blockers off. Depends on the show you're doing. If you need more keys, new camera, new inputs, you can just pop them right in like Lego. Just vMix or? Um, so the T-Bar itself is the only thing you can't actually program. So they did use our SDK and integrate it. So as long as software has it integrated, you can use a T-Bar in it. Okay. What about, what about post-production software? Like a Premiere or something like that? Yep. Um, so we do have options for Mac. A Keyboard Maestro is a software that we recommend for that. We are working on our own version. Hopefully it's coming out very, very, very soon. We've hired a programmer. We are a Windows software company, so it was um, a little tricky. Our, our old Mac support, uh, he doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. There's more. There's more. There's more. So we have... That's, that's the power of <laughs> Exactly. Um, so we have a Jog Shuttle 68 that's also very popular in this world for video editing, um, Photoshop. It was originally designed for CAD. All these programs with all these shortcuts, I mean, it's just going to make your life easier. All right, yeah, well, thank X you for coming. Yeah, yeah xkeys.com. There you go. That was xkeys. Thanks a lot, Maggie. Thank you. Yep. And uh, thanks to everybody here uh, for that Jeffrey Powers of Geekazine. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so you know when the next one comes out. And uh, we got a lot more videos, so go ahead and uh, check out the playlist. Until next time, you guys, geek out. And uh, we'll see you at NAB 2022.